Maybe he wants to learn a new character. Okay, that was an interesting grab. Grab attempt. Countered by the immediate change. Okay, we're gonna see Android just running the show in this match. Okay, nice follow-up to Android. Ooh, that was unsafe, indeed. Follows the tech, yeah, exactly. Follows the tech Ooh. and gets the right follow up, and that, that should be the kill. That was such a perfect choice. And great edge guard by Android. Android is a very fast chic. He knows, he has all those B reverses and all those, uh, yeah, all those needle tricks. And he's really fast on platforms. He's kind of, he reminds me uh, a lot of uh, Reno. Uh, the Sheik uh, from New York. Yeah. It was a very similar s platform heavy style like Android does. Though here it seems like Android is mostly sticking to the. To nice Ooh, tipper, that came out that of nowhere. That's interesting. <laughs> Android seems to be mostly playing a ground based game in, in this match so far. That's what she's supposed to do against Marvel. Yeah. There's no reason, there's generally not much reason to go on the platforms against Mark because... It's, it's pretty much always disadvantageous. Yeah. Except for Ooh. maybe if you follow, want to follow him up into the heavens. Okay. Nice throw. Android has those reaction tech chases that yeah, you learn they from... Yeah, they are so merciless. It, it's, it's the school of Armada. Um, Armada has always said that uh, PAL Sheik players can, can tech chase on, on reaction if they really learn it. And Android has definitely learned the ways of that. Wow, nice follow-ups. Ooh, that was cute yeah, as those hell. Those are super fast. This double black air was nice. Still sticking with the mark. You summon Yoshi's nice start there. Nice up tilt to grab. It's a pretty good setup for grabs. Okay, up tilt, up air. Falls up. Ooh, that was nice. So far, it's just Android completely outpacing Olex and. Like playing, I mean, they're there on completely different levels, so this is to be expected. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't punish the fourth smash. Uh, could have wave dash out of shield into a grab there. Oh. <laughs> nice punch. <potash. laughs> and the shy guys actually yeah. mess up Lolex combo. Maybe should have come for the forward, forward throw instead. Oh, that's too late to. Yeah. You have to be able to recognize when you're too late to punish something and yeah. then just back off. Okay, does he get the edge card? Oh, too way too slow with the with the edge recovery to punish him. Okay, gets the gets a kill and kills some shy guys. Because why not? Everyone always wants to get rid of them. Yeah. So that they just go away. Ooh, Ooh, the second that down tilt was surprising. <laughs> that was nice. I mean, there is. I think that messed up his DI too. It's hard to do anything in that situation. Like, if you DI in, you get comboed. If you yeah. DI out, you're probably gonna get. You're probably gonna die. If you rejump, you're gonna get fed. Exactly. And if you're gonna get fed, you won't have your rejump anymore, which is even more horrible. And the key to bad situations is not necessarily to. Panic. <laughs> Well, it's it's the problem with bad situations is not to to deal with bad situations well. It's to not find yourself in the bad not situations in the though. first place. Yeah. yeah. That's and that's how how I feel about people getting frustrated over playing against wobbling ICs, mm -hmm. because you can complain all the ones about about wobbling and all, but at the end of the day, it was you who got. Great